bustling world of distraction where notifications flood our screen and responsibilities pile up, Monk Mode can bring you focus and improve your productivity. But what exactly is Monk Mode and how can you harness its transformative power? In this video, we'll talk about exactly that and I'll share some actionable strategies that you can use to get the most out of Monk Mode. So let's roll. So what exactly is Monk Mode? Picture this, a monk in a monastery deeply engrossed in meditation, cutting off distractions to find inner peace and purpose. Monk mode is your personal version of that monastery. No, it's not about donning a robe and chanting, unless you're into that. It's a state of hyper-focus where you channel your inner monk to accomplish your goals. Monk mode is a dedicated period of time where you step away from distractions to dive deep into self-reflection and growth. Monk mode, the term's been popularized by Iman Ghazi who made his first million at 18. And he insists that monk mode can bring you into a space where distractions fade and your purpose sharpens like a blade. Remember that project that you've been pushing off to the back burner? Or that hobby you've always wanted to pick up? Iman Ghazi recommends a 21 day monk mode period to focus and achieve these goals. Now, once you've determined the goal that you want to achieve in monk mode, it's important to note that there are three main core pillars that you must implement to achieve them. Introspection, isolation, and improvement. Let's explore each one and I'll share some actionable strategies that you can use when you're in monk mode. Monk mode is a deliberate choice to dial down the noise, clear the clutter, and zone in on what truly matters to you. So the first place you want to start is decluttering your mind. Create a sacred space in there that nurtures focus, inspiration, and tranquility. Wanna know some steps to get there? I got you. Action step number one, mindfulness practice. Engage in activities like meditation or deep breathing exercises. These techniques promote self-awareness, allowing you to observe your thoughts without judgment. Action step number two, journaling. Dedicate a few minutes each day to jot down your thoughts, feelings, and aspirations. This practice helps you understand yourself better and aligns your actions with your values. Set aside 10 minutes every morning or evening for journaling. Grab a notebook and without judgment, shot your thoughts and feelings. By consistently journaling, you create a safe space to confront your fears, acknowledge your strengths, and align your actions with your core values. Action step number three, establish rituals. Monks have rituals for a reason. These routines act as anchors for your day. Establishing routines declutters your mind from having to think about the everyday tasks freeing your mental space to focus on the goal you're trying to achieve when you're in monk mode. Though some people suggest isolating yourself from everyone during monk mode, this isn't always possible. If you have a partner, kids, or other obligations, you can't just disappear for days on end. What you can focus on, however, is isolating yourself from habits, things, and people that are not serving the goal you're trying to achieve. Think of it like putting on noise-canceling headphones for your goal. When distractions fade into the background, you can immerse yourself fully in tasks, leading to better quality work and faster results. Just as monks are mindful of what they consume, so should you be. Limit distractions like social media, junk food, or negative influences. Opt for nourishing content, nutritious meals, positive vibes. Curious about some action steps? I got you. Action step number one, digital detox. Disconnect to reconnect with your essence. Ever tried reading a book while someone's having a loud conversation right next to you? Exactly. By embracing monk mode, you're giving your undivided attention to the task at hand. So the first thing you want to do is digital detox. The constant ping of notifications and the pressure to multitask can elevate stress levels. Embracing monk mode allows you to establish boundaries, granting you the mental space to tackle challenges calmly and methodically. Begin by decluttering your digital space. You can declutter and organize your desktop, unsubscribe from unnecessary emails, mute non-essential notifications, and organize your apps for optimal productivity. Consider getting apps that will help you stay on track by minimizing digital distractions. Action step number two, 
power moves. Identify your MVP tasks, the tasks that are most important to you, and make a conscious decision to conquer them. How can you do that? Identify your most important tasks for the day and tackle them during your peak energy hours. By focusing on essential activities, you avoid spreading yourself too thin. Action step number three, designate a sacred space, a fortress of focus of sorts. Create a distraction-free zone. This can be a corner in your room or a time that you've decided to be completely off-grid. This space serves as a sanctuary for your monk mode journey. Ensure that it's free from distractions and equip the space with tools that help you focus. Comfortable chair, inspiring music, and essential oils if you want. They can help invigorate your senses. By consciously choosing spaces and moments of isolation, you allow yourself the mental space to concentrate fully on tasks that matter, fostering creativity, and productivity. Side note, if you found these strategies helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more. The next pillar of monk mode is improvement. Use this pillar to transform abstract dreams into tangible targets. Dive into deep work with specificity and precision. Define your goals with clarity, set actionable milestones, track your progress, and celebrate your victories along the way. What if this clarity could ignite a fire within you, fueling your passion, persistence, and unwavering belief in your ability to achieve greatness? Here are some steps you can use to implement this pillar. Clearly define your goals and break them down with specificity. Instead of saying, I want to be fit, Specify, I will run three times a week. This clarity transforms abstract aspirations into tangible targets, empowering you to track your progress with precision. Then divide your day into distinct blocks of time dedicated to specific tasks. Set a timer and immerse yourself in that task till the timer goes off. Then take a short break. Lastly, celebrate your progress. Every step, no matter how small, gets you closer to your goal. Acknowledge your efforts and don't be too hard on yourself. Own your wins, big and small. Pop the metaphorical champagne and toast to your fabulous self. When you commit to monk mode, you're essentially committing to efficiency. By focusing on one goal during monk mode, you can complete it more swiftly and effectively than if you were juggling multiple goals simultaneously. Monk mode isn't a one-size-fits-all process, so take from this what works for you. Just remember that you possess the power to sculpt your dreams into reality by incorporating the three eyes of monk mode introspection isolation and improvement this requires commitment and discipline but the rewards are invaluable i hope you use monk mode to craft a life that resonates with purpose passion and authenticity life isn't about finding yourself it's about creating yourself if you're curious about how you can reset your life Check out this video.